I don't want her to be used to somebody talking to her like that, you know? I, I mean, know she that was mad after she saw her. She's like, he's such a <laughs> asshole. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, with that, you know, I've been away. <laughs> but I'm like used to him. Like, I thought, you know, I thought we were both honest with each other and. Talk to me in two years and let me think if that's what she's used to being talked to like that yeah. anymore. That's all I want to say. You know, somebody comes along, they talk a little nice, they say, okay, sweetheart, a little gentleness, and you melt on the floor. It's like an abused dog. Like, when a guy talks nice to me like that, I'm like, oh, what can I do? But I just want someone to speak softly and nice to her. I, mean, I want That's that what I want. I want Not to be used to that hardness. No, I know. I mean, now I had a lot of time to think, guys. Three years and eight months, so I had a lot of time to think while Joe was gone. And, um... You know, now I, you know, I tell him all these things. I'm like, you know, you were such an ass on the show. And now that when he was in jail, he would rewatch it. And he was like, you know what? You're right. I was an ass. But this is the thing. Like, in person, he would not be an ass. Because then I would rip his ass. I would rip him. Like, I really would. But on the show, he would act like this macho guy. Like, around people. And I hate that. Like, like, I, in, like they had to prove something in yeah, front of people. In front of people. But alone, if she went back at it... You, he would probably back down. Oh, right? like, totally. But but if she went out like in front of people, that. he would get nasty. Yeah. If I so. would never take like the way you guys saw him on the show, like being an asshole, <laughs> like yeah, I can curse, right? Yeah. No, like he wasn't <laughs> like that, like in person, like because otherwise I wouldn't. I'm mean, you see me. I'm a tough cookie. I wouldn't put up with. A <laughs> I really wouldn't. I'd be flipping tables, you know, all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> now, so. So when we were one on one and with the, around the kids, he would never act like that. But around people, I don't know if it's an Italian thing or a macho it's thing, a macho thing. or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. No, in front of people, he had to have this machismo thing. But but if she went back at him and nobody was around, like I said, he would back down. But in front of people, he would get. She never talked back to him the way she would if somebody wasn't, because he would just get so. Yeah, nasty. I, and I wouldn't you want to You want to diffuse it, and you don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. We've all done it. We've all been there in situations. So my mom used to say to me, she's like, "You're married to a saint." That's what my mom used to say to me. She's like, "Cause he puts up with a lot of shit that you say," and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" So she used to like, she used to say that you know, because compared to my dad. Like my dad, old school dad, my, you know, now you look at my dad, he looks like a teddy bear. But my dad, growing up, he was like strict, like, you know, like no tough. messing with my dad. Tough, tough. Yeah, very tough, yeah. So my mom's like, you know, she, I guess she looks at the way Joe was and the way my dad was. She's like, he was like such, so You're gonna different. meet a lot of different people now, that's what I have to say, maybe. If things go the way they might, I just want, I'm trying to pimp her out. <laughs> She said it, I didn't. She said it. I don't care. I, I'm, I don't care. I'm a friend. I'm gonna say if something, if things don't work out, you're gonna see how the rest of the world talks to women. You're right. That's what I'm saying. Jewish men talk different. I like Jewish men. Yeah. Nice. I love Jewish men. Come sit with me, Dolores. I know I'm a lot. Of them. You know how I feel about Jewish men. They're so nice. What, sweetheart? Why are you mad? How can I make it better? I love no. that. Yeah. I'm telling you, that. look what you have to look forward to. Joe and I, we were really strict with Gia growing up, and and but then when the whole legal thing happened, I got a little soft because you know I was all by myself, and you know so I said you know of course I not that I spoil them, but whatever they want, I'll get it for them. I try to make up for like the pain, like that, you know, Joe not being there or everything that we're going through. But I have to say, um, and you guys will see it play out. You know, we just came back from seeing Joe in Italy. And, you know, my girls have, they had to grow up quick, you know, because of everything we've been through. And, and not, you know, just watching it through. Because like, as a mom, you never know if you're doing a good job or not. But watching my girls, like, they're pretty amazing. They really are. They, like... They're, um, you know, they had to grow up at a young, you know, they grew up quick, like as you saw Gia growing up, um, Gabriella, Milani, Milani's had the hardest time, but she has turned around, like she saw a therapist last year, and she was having trouble in school, now this year she's doing really good in school, and, and she, look, as you guys saw, she lost over 40 pounds, like yeah, she just put it in her head and she did it.
And Adriana, the little baby, she's like amazing. She's like the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest kid. So, um, so I hope they keep, you know, I keep, I hope they keep going on the right track. You know, as a mom, that's all you wish for. And I, you know, and I thought that, you know, the girls would be fine, like when we came back from Italy. But they're really missing Joe still. Like Melania told me the other day, she's like, I miss Daddy so much, and it breaks my heart. So, you know, it's hard. Like. So, but I try to compensate and, you know, I try to, whatever they say, like even Melissa says, you do so much for them, but I do, I jump over hoops for them because of everything that we're going through and I just, whatever, if, whatever they say to me, I, like, I try to do it for them just because of the situation. So, but they are amazing kids.